We're introducing sterile water injections or SWI um, for women in labour in the UNHT. So that can be at home birth or in hospital. One of the midwives that are doing the um, injections must have completed the competency pa package. You can use it at first or second stage or, la or later phase. There are some contraindications, so make sure you're familiar with these. So you find a suitable woman, and this, these women are going to be the, having the extreme chronic back pain that we usually associate with OP. It won't help um, normal labour pain, it's just for that grinding OP pain, um, which it helps with. And the midwife will offer an information leaflet um, on the lay board or at home, support, and then have a chat with the woman about the pros and cons, what to expect, what it will feel like. If the woman consents to SWI, the midwife needs to find another midwife to assist. Um, and only one of the midwives needs to be competency assessed. So you can do it at home birth, for example, if you've got one of you who is competent, has been assessed as competent. And you only need verbal consent. You don't need any formal consent at all. So it's important that the woman is in a position that she can sit freely, unaided, and that you can access her back. So usually this will be either sitting on the side of the bed or standing potentially or kneeling all over, over the back of the bed as well. All of those are fine. You just need to be in a position where she's not going to kind of roll as you do the injections um, or, you know, your access is restricted in any way. So you need to gather your equipment. So you need two alcohol wipes, two um, cotton buds. You need four drawing up needles, four one mil syringes and four orange needles. You can use one um, 10 mil vial, the same vial for all four injections of water for injections. So if, if only one of the midwives are assessed as competent, that's actually absolutely fine because you just essentially give them subcut um, injections. One of, them need, one of you needs to know the position that the injections are going to go in and you can explain this to your colleague if they're not sure themselves. You can even mark it on with some biro. Just bear in mind that when you clean the back, the biro may come off. So we go um, two, um, kind of quite low down, just over the bum there. Um, maybe two to three centimetres apart, and then the, the top two are a centimetre to the diagonally from there. So like there and there. You're going to find your body because you need two of you to do this, and then you're going to get your, your um, equipment ready in advance, and then you're going to draw up from the, the vial of um, water for injections. Obviously, the woman needs to be supported throughout, um, so a birth partner may be near. We're going to go for 0 0.2 mils. You can see that there. And we're going to do four different syringes because... It's a bit of a, you can use two actually, but it's just a bit of a faff to but kind of moderate the amount that you're giving because you're going to give the injections quite quickly and close together. So you've got your woman in the right position. She's consented. You've got a buddy and you've got everything ready. Everything does need to be ready and the orange needles need to be in position on the syringes before you start. You're going to clean the back with a little canal wipe. And then we're going to wait for the next contraction. So you need to ideally give these injections with a contraction because the idea is that they hurt. They feel like a bee sting for about 30 seconds and it is quite intense sensation. So it's kinder to give it with a contraction. Um, so the woman is going to have a contraction. Don't give it straight away. Wait for a few seconds for it to build. And as she's being supported by a birth partner in front, you, you and your colleague are going to get in position. So we're going to do the top first and then the bottom. And we're going to go with this upcut um, injections, so they're at kind of 45 degree angle. And we go one, inject, two, inject quickly like that, and ideally simultaneously or as close together time wise as you can. So one and then two, like that. The woman will probably react. Um, we, that's why we just need to do it quite quickly. You may see small blebs form under the skin where you've injected the uh, water. You may not, but if you do, that's not a problem at all. Don't rub them, um, you're just putting pressure on. And that's it. We really, really don't rub them. Fight the temptation. So the relief should start um, in about 10 minutes after the administration. The initial pain sensation the woman will feel lasts for about 30 seconds. After about 10 minutes, then uh, many, many women, the majority of women that have sterile water injections, say that their pain can be reduced by up to 60% for up to three hours. You, you can repeat the process every two hours. Um, up to three times during labour. The woman can have up other analgesia if she wants to. It doesn't prevent her having an epidural or anything like that. And she can go in the pool. It's not a problem at all.